Welcome back to the Math Revision Made Meticulous. Today, day thirty-one. Topic: Probability, Conditional Probability. Revision, as the name suggests, means looking back over the previously learned information, ensuring that it is clear and fresh in the mind. Five questions per day from selected topic is presented at this video series. The steps in answers are supported by the ideas used for getting the answer. Let us check what is a conditional probability. You have seen what is the meaning by a probability in class tenth, ninth, tenth, and eleventh, where it is the total number of favorable cases by total cases. That is the probability of any event. Now, in this year, we are going to see something called conditional probability. That is a kind of connection between two events. therefore let a and b be two events associated with a random experiment now the probability of occurrence of event a under the condition that b has already occurred for a and b are connected event a under the condition that b has already occurred and p of b is not equal to 0 that is which mean that that prob that event b should be a should not be a impossible event is called the conditional probability and it is denoted by a slash b you uh, see that uh, notation a slash b where b is already occurred and we are going to find the probability of a knowing that b has occurred for probability of a slash b therefore p of a slash b are is uh, represent probability of occurrence of event a given that event b has already occurred the formula is p of a intersection b by p of b remember the denominator should be p of b because b has already occurred denominator probability of b because b has already occurred now we can think of the other uh, formula also p of b slash a what it means it is a probability of occurrence of b given that a has already occurred here the order is a and b now it is left to you in the exam also to use any of them For this, the formula will be the same. In the numerator, it will be b intersection a. All of you know it is same as a intersection b. Denominator, it is p of a. That is probability of the event which has already occurred. Let us move on to some problem now. First, let us go for some numerical problem where we will use the formula directly to get some unknown. For example, p of a is 0.4, p of b is 0.3, p of b slash a is given as 0.5. they want you to find a intersection b probability and then p of a slash b now let us uh, check out what is given there these are the given now we will start with the formula for p of b slash a be careful b slash a means probability of b knowing that a has occurred therefore a probability will come in the denominator for it is probability of a intersection b by p of a already values are given therefore it is 0.5 is equal to probability of a intersection b by 0.4 cross multiply you will get probability of a intersection b is equal to 0.2 we have uh, answered the question number 1 let us answer the question number 2 which is probability of a slash b we are having a formula it is the probability of a knowing that b has occurred therefore probability of a intersection b upon p of b we are having both the values 0.2 by 0.3 therefore the answer is 2 by 3 for in the exam sometime they may give you probability of a union b also we have to use the formula which you already seen in lower class that is p of a union b is equal to p of a plus p of b minus p of a intersection b to get which is not known to you let us go to question number 2 here let us now take some question where you have to identify the sample space you have to identify the even space you have to identify a intersection b and you have to identify the probability A die is rolled twice, and some of the numbers appear among them is observed to be seven. When a die is rolled, all of you know the sample space number will be thirty-six, and uh, it is given that the sum of the number appear among them is observed to be seven. For that to be taken as the even already occurred, what is the conditional probability that the number two has appeared at least once? For whatever asked, you call it as A event of getting number two at least once. B you call it as event of getting sum of the numbers on the die as seven. Let us see what is A. Event of getting number at least once. What is the meaning of at least one? Once and twice, two times. It cannot be more than that. For I take first in the beginning, the event of getting the number two once. One comma two, two comma one, two comma three, two comma four, two comma five, two comma six. Again, what is there 
it where it appears uh, once again 3 comma 2 1 comma 2 is already there 2 comma 1 is already there 3 comma 2 4 comma 2 5 comma 2 6 comma 2 these are all 2 appearing once then how the it appearing 2 twice it is 2 comma 2 therefore we got a then b will be getting the sum as 7 1 comma 6 2 comma 5 3 comma 4 4 comma 3 5 comma 2 and 6 comma 1 now a intersection b you have to find it only 2 comma 5 and 5 comma 2 are common Therefore, we got probability of B now because we need the probability of B of the event already occurred. That is, there are uh, 6 elements in B, therefore it is 6 by 36. And what is probability of A intersection B? There are only 2 elements there, therefore 2 upon 36. Now we got the idea that probability of B is 6 upon 36, probability of A intersection B is 2 upon 36. You can simplify it, but I am keeping it as it is because after knowing that A and B, I am using the conditional probability formula. Probability of occurrence of E and A given that E and B has already occurred is A slash B. Formula is probability of A intersection B by probability of B. We have already identified them 2 upon 36 by 6 upon 36 which is 2 by 6. Therefore, the answer is 1 upon 3. For here, we have identified the sample space. We have identified the even spaces and we have found the intersection. Based on the number of elements, we have found the probability and we have used the conditional probability formula. Let us go to the next question. In a school, there are 1000 students out of which 430 are girls. It is known that out of 430, 10% of the girls study in class 12. This is a known event. What is the probability that a student chosen at random studies in class 12 given that the chosen girl, chosen student is a girl? For A should be even that the girl selected studies in class 11. That is asked in the question. B is the event already occurred that selected student is a girl. Now what is probability of B? It is already 430 given therefore 430 upon 1000. Now what is the meaning of A intersection B? It is the event A and B even that a girl is selected study in class 11 and also it is a girl. Therefore it is very clearly given that 10% study in class 12 therefore it will be the favorable cases will be 10% of 430 total cases it is 1000 but 10% of 430 is 43 by 1000 let us go to the question now probability of occurrence of event a given that b has already occurred is a slash b that is nothing but probability of a intersection b by probability of b which is nothing but 430 by 1000 upon 43 by 1000 but is 43 by 430 by 43 which is nothing but 1 upon 10 here the numbers are directly given to you. From the numbers given, we have identified what is probability of B required for the denominator and probability of A intersection B required for the numerator to apply the formula for conditional probability. Let us go to question number 4. Two integers are selected at random from integers 1 to 11. If the sum is even, find the probability that both are odd. We have to find the probability that both are odd knowing that the sum is even. Now, what are the total cases? Two integers are selected. Therefore, 11 C2. Let us keep it as it is. Let us take A is equal to even that both the numbers are odd and B is equal to even that sum of the number is even. That is given if the sum is even. Therefore, taken as B. Now, out of the integers from 1 to 11, there are 5 even integers and 6 odd integers. 1, 3, 5, 7 and so on. They are all odd. Remaining 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. They are even. Therefore, there are 5 even integers and 6 odd integers. Therefore, what do you want? Probability of A intersection B. A inter what is the meaning of A intersection B? Both the numbers are odd and the sum is even. Therefore, it will become 6C2 by 11C2. 6C2 I am identifying as 15. Therefore, 15 by 11C2. Now, if the sum of the two integers is even, that is, the uh, I am talking about the even B. If the sum of the two integers is even, that both are even or both are odd. Both the numbers should be even, both the numbers should be odd. Therefore, R is coming. Therefore, these are, we have to add their probability, add their favorable cases. Therefore, for even, it will be 6C2. And for odd, sorry, even, it will be 5C2. For odd, it will be 6C2. For 6C2 plus 5C2, which is 15 plus 10. For total cases, already we have seen it as 11C2. So, the probability of B is 25 upon 11C2. I am keeping 11C2 as it is because it is going to get cancelled when I use the formula for conditional probability. Here we have identified what is A intersection B that is even that both are odd and sum of the number is even. 
it will be there will be only 6 therefore it will be 6 c2 upon 11 c2 good therefore now we have got both the values now where we are going for the formula probability of the event a given that event b has already occurred is a slash b it is probability of a intersection b by probability of b for 11 15 by 11 c2 by 25 by 11 c2 i have not computed 11 c2 it is 15 upon 25 the answer is 3 upon 5 let us uh, let us move on to question number 5 a couple has two children find the probability that both are boys if it is known that one of the children is boy the older child is a boy here two known events are given and we have to get the probability that both are boys for that let us first identify the sample space for that let us take b i and g i stand for the child be the ith boy and girl respectively b1 means first is a boy b2 means second uh, child is a boy g1 means first child is a girl g2 means second child is a girl therefore the samples will become b1 b2 both are boys b1 g2 first boy second girl g1 b2 first girl second boy g1 g2 both of them are girls both the children are girls now from this we have to identify the even space let us take capital a even that both the children are boys very simple from this when you identify it both the children are boys are only in b1 b2 therefore capital a is equal to b1 b2 now let us now take b and c are the events which are given in the question that is known events one of the child is a boy what is the meaning of one of the child is a boy either first is a boy second is a boy or both are boys therefore we will get b1 b2 b1 g2 and g1 b2 even b1 b2 both are boys even b1 g2 first is a boy in g1 b2 second is a boy let us go to the third event that older son is a boy what is the meaning of older son is a boy the first is a boy that's all therefore you will get b1 b2 and b1 g2 g1 b2 will be uh, that boy will become a younger and in g1 g2 there is no boy therefore both of them will not come therefore we have identified a we have identified b i have identified c now for finding the conditional probability i need a intersection b which is b1 b2 and a intersection c which is also b1 b2 now we are having the sample space containing four elements where we need probability of a intersection b which is 1 by 4 one element is there in a intersection b by total number is 4 then probability of a intersection b is once again 1 by 4 because there is only one element in a intersection b now for finding that uh, conditional probability we want the probability of the event already occurred that is probability of b three elements therefore three by four probability of c two elements therefore two by four now let us go to the subdivisions now probability that both are boys if it is known that one of the child is a boy is a slash b therefore it is a intersection b by probability of b therefore you are having one by four by three by four therefore the answer is one by three Similarly, let us go, let us continue with the second subdivision. For that, I am displaying all the values once again a intersection b, a intersection c, and the probability of a intersection b, a intersection c, probability of b, and probability of c. Anyway, in this uh, subdivision, we want to find the probability that both are boys, that is, probability of a, knowing that the elder child is a boy, that is, knowing that c has occurred. Therefore, a slash c, our a slash c is probability of a intersection c by upon p of c it is already there 1 by 4 upon 2 2 by 4 therefore the answer is 1 by 2 here what we have done in this problem two subdivisions were there and uh, we have found them the sample space the event space and the probability of every event separately and we have applied the conditional probability formula success is dependent on efforts all the best thank you